Incest. Incest. And speaking of that, that was the Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn episode, Happy Campers in a Nutshell. Thank you, I'm done, people. <laughs> you think I could be done by that? Oh my goodness. This may have been just the worst episode of the show I've seen. Wanna know why? Dawn. I can solve most of my problems with this show in one word. Dawn. I hate her guts. No. She is the daughter of Satan. Oh my. You know how obnoxious she is. In fact, mo- No, all of the characters in this show are that obnoxious. In this episode especially. Here's the thing. When you have an episode like this, this isn't just bad in the normal way. This is introducing to kids to a concept without subtlety. See, Cora covered a darker theme successfully, because it did it subtly. Cora did it with, um, with their lesbian couple of Cora and Asami, and I don't think it's a darker theme. I thought it was really good that they did it at, at the end. However, when you have a show that basically... Put it out there, and this is incest between quadruplets. No. So what's the plot? The stereo quads are going to summer camp. That's that's original. Mm. Oh my goodness. Some random Nick exec. Best thing I've ever seen. X. Young audience? Yeah, we like these characters. Me? Alright, so. I might as well say there is a few good ish things of this episode. Like, I didn't mind the parents subplot with them. However, it's impossible to like the dad who we've seen, who's just a clone. Same with the mom um, in that area. See, every show has its fatal flaw. Nicky, Yorkie, Dicky, and Dawn's is its characters. And it's writing. But the fatal flaw is its characters. You see, this show decided to put the most stereotypical characters into this scenario. So let's get down to the episode before my YouTube webcam stops recording on me. Um, so basically they're going to camp, and they're going to act alone. No twins around. With them. Yeah. And so, each of them have a slight starting subplot. Dawn wants to fit in the, with the girls, and from the moment she does that, please realize she's evil. Please realize she's evil. Please realize she's evil. Um. Dickie wants to impress a girl. Ricky wants to use a telescope. And Nikki wants to worry about safety. Let's take out the worst, the easiest, no, the most normal one first. Um, and I'll get to the climax. So Nikki pretty much is on his own for the majority of the episode. And he sucks. He really, really does. I finally bothered to get the names of these guys down, and, huh, 
Basically, he worries the safety about a safety counselor, who always is assuring him it's okay, and the counselor, I hate his guts, just because he's a stereotype. He's one of those stereotypical characters ever to bring into a show. He's the emo teen with a girlfriend. So, who should we work with next? Ricky needs to date Dawn for a telescope. Yeah. Dickie was trying to impress a normal girl, and Dawn has to date Dickie to get into a group of friends. Those three plots pretty much intertwine. So, at, as this episode goes on, this is Toy Ship Incest, the episode. It matches siblings up, tears them apart, puts another sibling against Dawn, tears them apart, and puts the other. That's what it does. So, this is going to be Dicky, and this is Dawn. So, Dawn needs to get into popular girls, meets up with the Dicky, um, popular girls don't like Dicky. Don dumps Dicky, and Nikki re appears. Um, safety instructor after getting a girlfriend helps Nikki get girlfriend, and it's a three-way battle royale for Don. And Don jumps in for the flowers. Selfish. So, how does this end? The parents come and fake a bear. Bam! I'm done with this episode. Incest the episode.